Hello, I'm Spastastic. On today's half ass but actually it's not a half ass product review. On today's freaking older tech review, I have a Sony DSC WX50. So, as is tradition on, on, on this channel, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you some pictures and uh, a couple little video clips I took with this earlier today. And uh, albeit this isn't as long or as like, you know, detailed as some of my other recordings have been, it's just because, well, well, I explain it in a little clip. Let's just get on with it. So I figured I'd start off by filming over here in Memory Grove. I mean, why not? I mean, if I got a clearing in the trees, I could show you some stuff, but no. And it's the end of fucking November. I figured now is as good a time as any to let you hear the stereo speaker since I got water flowing on the other side of me. So, you know, probably could have picked a better time of day to film than, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning in November or early December. Yeah. Oh well. So I guess this thing can vlog. And I know I look like shit. I might as well see how well I can hold this while I'm walking. And I have the shake thing turned down to a low. Because it seemed to make the video stop whenever you'd use it for stuff like that. However, uh, I have come down here and I've done something interesting, like a little paranormal investigating, like over at that building over there, I'm going to zoom in and see how well that shit works, which is probably okay. That building, there's a lot of weddings that take place right there, and uh, probably ought to take my finger off the top of the mic so you can hear some scraping noises or something, I don't know. But, you know, just an interesting place. It's really pretty down here near, in the spring after all the snow melts, but you know. I said I'd done some paranormal investigating. I'll get to that here in a minute. Do you have to pee now? Now you're thinking about it. Good thing you can cut pause these videos and come back to them. So the explanation on uh, this picture when I was talking about uh, paranormal investigating before, uh, this little spot, my, my buddies told me before we went up there and we did went and did our investigation, it probably would have been like 2015, 16 that we went and did this. Um, when we went and we did that, there was usually, I mean, a few times I even went back since, there was usually like pentagrams and stuff drawn on there, but the story that they told me was that they were up there doing, well, basically paranormal investigating and found a bunch of people in cloaks and stuff with like candles lit and, you know, all that usual tired old meme stuff. But if you ever actually do go out there, especially at night, getting up around this little part of Memory Grove is usually kind of weird if you're actually paying attention to it. And if you're by yourself, it's a lot more noticeable. Anyhow, back to the rest of the video, since this is kind of odd being in a product review video. I got a lot of dirt trails up here, you know, if you don't fancy walking on a dirt path, they kind of got a paved road over there. Yeah. I, I really don't think this is supposed to be a bridge, but oh well. Yeah, sorry if that seemed like a kind of a lame demonstration of what the camera could do compared to what I normally would do, but did it kind of on a time constraint. It was cold, and for some other reason, it was like, hey, it's almost 9 o'clock. Freaking, let's let, let's go walk all the goddamn dogs, and people in Salt Lake City are kind of strange, but, you know, I freaking think here, that was a okay demonstration on what this camera can do, and uh, the other reason why I kind of wrapped that up kind of fast is because a storm started coming in, so I decided to go back to the car. I mean, I guess as I can turn around and uh, pick the camera up in the Spastastic Garage of Madness, of which this actually films pretty well in low light conditions and kind of blew my mind a little bit. But yeah, as you can see, the weather out here really isn't exactly uh, the most favorable thing on the planet. But yeah, well, I guess we're going back to studio. So as you can see why uh, that was shortened just a little bit is it well, it doesn't really clear in the little videos that I was taking when I was out there, but no, there was a storm coming in. I had, to, had to kind of wrap up kind of quickly. I mean, I guess I could have went into the state capitol, but um, a little bit of a personal reason why I didn't go in there was also had to be with, um, had the trots. Um, let's just leave it at that. I'm pretty immature. I didn't really need to get, that's TMI. But anyhow, uh, this little camera, I wanted to get into some little features in it, of which uh, one of the biggest ones that I don't like about the camera is that it has an issue with battery life. 
and it has to do with uh, how do you get this thing out of here it has to do with this little tiny lithium ion battery I mean this is about half the size of the one that would come in like your average smartphone and I don't know if it's because of the camera's age I mean I think the camera was built in 2012 if I remember correctly um, I bought it at a pawn shop for twenty dollars so not twenty forty and uh, I'm actually quite happy with it so far because the biggest thing that caught my attention though had to do with the stereo microphone of which uh, I got a little bit of a demonstration in that in the video clip and uh, I'll do a little demonstration with that in a minute you know how these things are formatted if you've actually watched any of them this camera the, the biggest thing I have about the Sony product line is that they have a little proprietary software so you can actually use all the cameras little functionality and shit can't remember what that's called at the moment so I'll just put a little bit of white text right here that says what it says what the program's called. But it made this thing kind of a pain in the ass to film with because I'm sitting there trying to film it and film it and film it and film it and I couldn't get the freaking information off the SD card because it's like encoded or something to the Sony's proprietary software. And if you know anything about any of my setup, you know that I run Linux and it don't work with Linux. And uh, wine kept crashing, you know, Linux things, you know, my own personal problem. I guess I get a fired up my old compact Windows XP machine and seen what the hell it would do because I'm pretty sure it would have worked but I don't know if it could have played back HD video something that's a topic for another day anyhow one of the other problems that a lot of people and a lot of people that have reviewed this camera before said that they had a problem with was the tiny little buttons that the camera has on it of which it has a lot of them and it's not going to focus on it correctly so whatever you get the kind of the idea I mean I got, got very big hands and you see how big my finger is to the power button even though I really didn't need to turn it on because the SD card that I use in this is actually the camera I'm recording this on right now. But, yeah, no, I mean, the little menu system stuff's easy to figure out. And uh, actually, I was kind of amazed to find out that brand new Sony CyberShot cameras actually have the exact same menu system in them. And um, from just looking at the Spectrum in the store, they actually look like they're slightly worse than this camera and some of them are slightly better. Um, don't exactly know how to explain that one too well, but... Yeah, no, I mean, for $40, I just picked this up at a pawn shop. I might actually have to, you know, work out a deal with that pawn shop. Maybe I can get them to give me a discount on buying a bunch of shit from them for praising them or something because they're just kind of like the pawn shop that just has, they just take everything. They don't give a fuck what it is. They take everything. I mean, they had a PBP station, which is one of those cheap Chinese uh, PSP knockoffs with a bunch of pre-built freaking NES games that play, play kind of weirdly because the freaking uh, emulator runs a little fast. But, you know... That's a story for another day also. But yeah, no, I mean, this camera's got a good got good, good weight to it. The only thing I really don't like about it, the one thing that I don't like is that I actually turned around a couple times in my pocket, has to do with uh, the preview button down here. We'll turn the camera on. I mean, I don't, yeah, no, it says there's no images because it didn't have an SD card in it. I don't like that it'll turn, turn the camera on too easily because the buttons need to be a little bit more recessed, but, you know, they packed a lot of shit into a tiny little camera. And, uh, yeah, so I guess there's only one more thing to do, and it's to see, hey, could you use this thing for YouTube, even though it's kind of a redundant question at this point in time. Anyhow, let's get on to that. So all of a sudden it's going to jump, and I'm probably going to end up having to, the camera position is going to be different. Okay, it'd be really nice if it had a little light on the front of it that would tell me that it's recording. But as I said, different camera angle. Um, it's because I was too lazy to change out tripods since I had this little piece of crap one I bought from Walmart forever ago. Just sitting there. The only difference is, is that I'm way closer to the camera than I normally am. This is kind of like in my face almost. Well, I guess not really. It's within arm's reach, which whatever. I'm a short fucker. But anyhow, obviously you can use this thing for freaking uh, YouTube. And as I said, the stereo microphone test. I don't know why I tapered it off when I went over to that side, but whatever. You get the point. So. Oh, the other thing I didn't like about this camera was right on the back of it, instead of using the shutter button like I could on like my Samsung, I'd use a little red button on the back, which from looking at other cameras, that seems to be industry standard. Don't know why. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean, for $40 for for picking up a pawn shop for an older tech review, um, I haven't really tested this side by side, so I'm going to see it in the video editor here in a minute, but I don't really anticipate the video quality on these two cameras being too much too different. However, the audio quality is, is going to be definitely different because, well, stereo microphone and the fact that my other camera, I have an external condenser mic. Um, however, I hope you enjoyed this video. Even though it's a shorter video, I haven't been producing as much content. Family things. But, you know, as is tradition, I'm spastastic. 
I didn't, I didn't say something smart ass right there. Anyhow, Lab Techno Music will play now. Thank you for watching.